be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all and no one can take them out of the Father's hand. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Every fourth Sunday of Easter, we, le- we hear a lot about sheep and shepherds in our scripture readings at Mass. In our reading today from the book of Revelation, St. John the Evangelist presents us with a vision of a great multitude of men and women gathered before God's throne in heaven. And seated on that throne is Jesus the Lamb who, St. John says, will shepherd those gathered before him to springs of life-giving water. In this morning's gospel passage from the same St. John, we hear Jesus proclaim, My sheep hear my voice. I know them, and they follow me. And in today's opening prayer of the Mass, we prayed, Almighty, ever-living God, lead us to share in the joys of heaven so that the humble flock, you and I, may reach where the brave shepherd, Jesus, has gone before us. You know, with all this talk about sheep and shepherds, have you ever met an honest-to-goodness shepherd? Or have you ever seen one shepherding his flock? I never had until I took a trip to the Holy Land, oh, some 30 years ago while hiking with two other priests in the Judean desert on our way to a 7th century Orthodox monastery, we came upon two shepherds tending their flocks. One was relatively young, perhaps in his 20s. He looked like your typical shepherd, I suppose, except in place of wearing a turban, He was wearing a set of headphones, and his head was bobbing up and down, keeping rhythm with the music he was listening to. We waved. He waved back. About an hour later, we came upon another shepherd tending his flock. He was quite a bit older. Again, he looked like your typical shepherd, but again, in place of the turban, he was wearing a New York Yankees baseball cap. In fact, identical, identical to the baseball cap that one of the other priests was wearing. Well, his face lighted up when he saw the cap. He was so excited. We exchanged greetings, of course, we didn't understand one another, but waved and embraced and then continued on our way. As I mentioned earlier today in our gospel, 
on this Good Shepherd Sunday, Jesus speaks of his followers as sheep. My sheep hear my voice, they follow me. Most of us probably are not really wild about being referred to as sheep. Why not? Well, the implications of being led, being constantly watched over, not the brightest of creatures, always reliant on someone else. You know, all of this kind of goes against the American way of independence, of self-assurance, of rugged individualism, of people who want to make a success out of their lives, relying on themselves, on their intelligence, on their ingenuity, and on no one else. Yet, in our gospel this morning, Jesus calls you and me, his followers, sheep. Sheep who listen to his voice and follow him. But is the sheep metaphor that Jesus uses simply obsolete and irrelevant in our highly technical and sophisticated 21st century? Irrelevant for the disciples who live in a society which prizes creativity, independence, intelligence, and aggressiveness? Perhaps, though, the metaphor of sheep is not as obsolete and irrelevant as we might think. If you stop and think about it, some of the characteristics of sheep do indeed describe us, as much as we might hate to admit it. Perhaps like sheep, I'm not as self-sufficient as I pretend to be. At times I feel vulnerable, needy, perhaps a bit lost, a bit aimless perhaps at times even frightened, helpless. Perhaps I'm not the all-American I thought I was. A superstar, a winner, invincible, always in the know, always on target. Perhaps I've learned that I'm not as strong intellectually physically or spiritually, as I once thought. Perhaps I'm really none of these things, really, and more like sheep after all. I wonder whether, in the end, I'd rather be all the things a sheep is, accepting my vulnerability, my limitations, my faults, my failings, my sin, my need for guidance, for communion, for friendship, my need to be less apprehensive about being perfect. Realizing that developing as a whole person is far more important than a perfect GPA. Is the image of ourselves as sheep really obsolete and irrelevant? Is the implication of being led and watched over and cared for really distasteful? It will be if being self-sufficient, not needing anyone else, doing your own thing, 
is what your life is all about. If that's the case, then you'll want nothing to do with sheep or shepherds. And for that matter, probably nothing much to do with Jesus, the shepherd. Many of us dislike the thought of being led by somebody else or being told what to do. But as Christians, we confess Christ to be the Good Shepherd, the way, the truth, the life. Whether you follow his way or your own, whether you adhere to his truth or your own, whether you live his life or your own, is a decision which each of you must make for yourself. You must choose whether to be dependent upon no one but yourself, so much the American way, or to be dependent upon Christ, our Savior, our Redeemer, our Shepherd. Only he has the words of eternal life. And he calls out to each one of you, yes, as his sheep. Do you hear his voice? Do you follow him? Jesus, the Good Shepherd, knows us. May we always listen to him and follow him.